Hey guys, welcome back to another very interesting video of VK. In this video, we'll be talking with you guys about the FRP or the factory reset production. Let's get started. Guys, FRP or the factory reset production is a type of the security or it's a type of mechanism with the help of which Google protects the Android devices which is running on Android Lollipop and above. So FRP means what? Let's consider an example in case you have lost your smartphone or you have kept your smartphone somewhere and just forgot you're not finding your smartphone like that. In case you lost your smartphone, the thief can factory reset your smartphone by using the fast boot method or using the recovery method and start using your smartphone like a normal smartphone. In order to make sure he doesn't log into your smartphone, the Google has used this factory reset protection on Android devices which is running on Lollipop and above. The FRP means what it happens is once the thief has factory reset your device using any method once he tries to set the smartphone as a new smartphone he tries to log in he should log into the smartphone using some other google account but once he tries to log in or set up this smartphone as a new smartphone what happens is google will automatically block the thief by giving out a pop-up message showing that this device has been reset please log in using the previously used email id that was synced with this device this is one of the methods by using which google protects the user data on the android devices but in this method can also occur if you have purchased the smartphone from someone else legally let's consider you have purchased a smartphone from something like olx some other online medium and that person had not removed the google account from his device and he had reset the smartphone like that only now you purchase a smartphone and you try to enter your new credentials for google account and start signing in in this process what happens is google blocks you and it tells please log in using the old gmail id if you don't log in using the old gmail id and that process of signing or setting up of the smartphone will be stuck in that page only so this is known as the factory reset protection lock but now i'll be telling you guys how you can bypass that factory reset protection lock using the fast boot method if you want to enter the fast boot method of different devices i'll be giving the links in the description for how you can go to the fast boot of different devices the second important thing is after going into the fast boot, what you have to do that also I'll be explaining you guys in detail and I'll be telling you now how you can make sure you bypass that factory reset protection and easily use your smartphone as a new smartphone.